Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Titanium Taco here. Today, going to react to the second half or the trailer of the second half of Crystallized um, from LegoCon. I unfortunately was not able to live stream my reaction to LegoCon or like, you know, uh, live stream for LegoCon because I was on vacation. Um, if my voice sounds a little different, I am a little bit sick, but not, not to worry though. We are still here today. Finally, gonna see the official trailer. I've seen a couple images, and I gotta say, bro, with just the images alone, my guy. Beautiful. So without further ado, let's get into it. I think everything's recording. Thank you so much. All right. So this is the Lego con here. I want to watch the whole Ninjago segment and not just the trailer. So let's see. I'm sure you're aware, ninjas aren't. So I I didn't look at the trailer. I just wanted to make sure that I got to the place. So ninjas. Casually and lean towards drawstrings and stuff such. But we still advise you to buckle up as we have some massive Lego Ninjago news to reveal. I can buckle up. I was wondering where that buckle thing was going to go. But yes, there was resolution. I guess. Do ninjas use buckles? know how the latest thrilling season and A is going to conclude, here is the okay. cool, calm, and collected Tommy Oh, this season is going to conclude. Okay, I'm interested to see. Tease. Tommy. Hey, yo. Hi there. I'm Tommy Andreasen, and I'm so happy are you, to be here at LEGO Are you challenging me, Tommy? Look at something Hold up. No. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. I have three of the four golden weapons. Hmm? What do I see there? I only see a sword of fire. Get right, Tommy. To be fair, though, if Tommy had all four, um, I'm sure he could use all four. Unlike me, I probably wouldn't be able to use all four. I would probably explode like Samukai, honestly. But, Tommy, you want to you wanna match, bro? Come at me, bro. No. Honestly, though, Tommy would probably beat me up. Like, straight up. He would straight up beat me up. This year's season or what you is probably say? the most ambitious we've ever done. We have a whopping 30 episodes. So with this season, we to create something truly special. Some of the episodes from the new season crystallized are already out, and you may have seen Man. the return of some of your favorite characters and villains from past years. When we started out, there back is in 30. We had no idea the oh, that is some. Um, would become as big what's and her face? As it has. And so much of that is down to the incredible fans who have kept energizing and inspiring us to make bigger Who's stories Nelson's friend and again? better toys year after year. But here today, just for you, here's a special sneak peek of what's coming later this year. Wait, what did Tommy say? Ninja I kind of... All right, hold up. Okay, so I thought I missed something very important. I thought he said, mentioned something about, like, this season and its conclusion, but no, no. So, okay, this is it, guys. This is what this is what I've been waiting for to see ever ever since it was announced. Ninja, go! Get rid of this. You still hold. Destruction comes from the eternal struggle. Hey, yo! Dark. I will destroy the balance. That voice, though. Peace in the dark. The only thing that can destroy the Overlord is the power of the Oni. The. You are part Oni. Overlord name drops. Embrace your Oni side. There's that darkness again. Oh. Just like your father, I am nothing like my father. Garbodon! No. It looks like Mr. E doesn't have his visor. What is that? You are trusting in gullible and weak, which is why no. you are bound to lose. Harumi, shut up. Were those golden weapons? How does it feel? Huh? Skyler? To have no one left. No. Interesting. No, not Zane! Ooh, he's got wings as well. Hold up. Hey, what the? Hey, yo! So the Crystal King is not a mech. Yeah. And as an additional Ninjago uh -huh. news nugget, I can reveal that Crystallize will conclude What's this the current storyline. So you can expect huge developments this current in the coming weeks. What, okay, what does so that mean? I heard that. Mysterious world to another? 
Well, yes. Wait, I what? We'll travel there right now. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. It is um, what once beautiful. Oh no, this is for Lego Con. Slightly dangerous. No, oh, that's stenciled over my bed. Oh, What's... fine. You're ready for this then. This is something even more amazing. All right, shut up. Con. I don't care. I don't care no more. All right, let's let's dissect this trailer really well, quick. So we got Tommy here. Incredible fans who have kept Thank you, Tommy. And <laughs> for you, here's a special sneak peek of what's coming later this year. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, go! All right, so my my intro. Okay, for start for starters, bounties destroyed. It looks like there's an arrow blade right there. If you see this right here, it looks like that's an arrow blade, but it's not. It's not. Um, oh, that's probably the top part of the the monastery. So monastery is destroyed again. Great. Um, we see we only see Skylar and Pixel though. No Nia, interestingly enough. You still hope. Bro, it, I, my question is, is this the same voice actor? Because, my god, I mean, personally, I, obviously they said that this is the Overlord. 100%, right? But, personally, I would have liked to hear that Overlord voice again. Like the, oh, so you are blood. <coughs> I can't, oh god, I can't do it. But, I definitely would have preferred hearing that voice. Not that this voice for the Crystal King, it, it works 100%. I just hope that it's the same voice actor at the very least, you know? But if it's a different voice actor again, eh, it doesn't really matter. It is a new iteration, new take on the Overlord. So it would make sense that it also sounds different. Because obviously, it looks like he has a mask on. Because his mouth isn't actually moving. So that's probably why it sounds different as well. Destruction comes from the eternal struggle. Okay. Oh, so he has four dark. arms in this part. So, if you look back... Not that far back. It's kind of hard to... If you take a look... Okay, so... no. Okay. So, what gives life to these Vengestone dudes is his crystal powers. Which is interesting. I, I want to... I'm, I'm trying to understand the further implication of the crystals themselves. Because... What is the Overlord's power? Is it just darkness? Which, I guess it is just darkness. But I guess darkness imbued with crystals? Question mark? So, okay, no. He has four arms all the way through. So he has four arms here. Destruction and I from... thought he only had two here. And he grows the pair in this scene. But no, no. He has he has four the entire time. So, honestly... He looks sick, dude. And dark. Eternal struggle. So this is definitely the Oni Temple. I will destroy the balance. He's gonna destroy the balance. Okay, and he's crystallizing everything here. Peace, Peace and dark. darkness. Okay. That's Borg Tower. They're above Borg Tower. So they're currently in that one jungle. This, this is definitely the jungle where they're at right here that can destroy the overlord is the power of the oni okay the only thing that can destroy the overlord is the power of the oni i think garmadon garmadon is just using an excuse again to like be part of the group to like help out because if we think back when garmadon said the only thing that could destroy oni is an oni garmadon will just speak talking out his butt dude like honestly if you think about it he didn't do anything the oni weren't defeated by the power of an oni they were defeated by the collective effort of creation. So, the fact that Garmadon's saying this, I, I don't think there's any weight to it that the fact that the power of the Oni is the only thing that could defeat the Overlord. Because honestly, both Oni and Dragon can defeat the Overlord. I mean, Lloyd has defeated the Overlord. Zane has defeated the Overlord. Obviously, you can't fully dispose of the Overlord, like kill him. Even then, I don't think the Overlord is going to die in, like, in this season. He might. I don't know, but he might. Um, but I think this is just Garmadon saying something so he could be like, "Oh, I want, I want only Lloyd." Maybe, maybe, maybe he's trying to get Lloyd to be on the dark side. Who knows? But I, I don't think, just, just how Garmadon said that the only thing that an Oni could be defeated by is an Oni. I don't think, I don't think that line he says is holding is holding any weight. To be honest, um, I will say though, Garmadon's design here with the four arms super amazing especially with the wings unfortunate thing is though where's the figure for that we only got the figure for like the first half like the two arms the oni mask and everything but we're the extra two arms lego why do you do this to us or not even just lego 
Tommy Andreas said, why do you do this to us? Like, why do you make stuff that's not a product? You know, like, I mean, I get it. It looks cool. But at the same time, like, I, it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. It's actually really annoying that they do this kind of stuff and we don't get a figure for it. So, uh, to be honest, who's at fault? I don't know. But it, it's it's annoying. Um, Bench Stone guys look really awesome. Again, Garmin's design just looks really good. You are part so owner. good. But yes, Lloyd is part Oni, and you are too. Woody. You must embrace your Oni side. Here's the, again. That's why I, I mean, yes, Garmin says that an Oni, only an Oni could defeat the Overlord. But I don't. I don't think. I think that's the wrong way to take it. And the fact that Wu is the one that's saying yes, go for it, embrace your Oni side. Like, damn, that that actually says something. So maybe. So there might actually be some weight to it. So Lloyd here is embracing his Oni side. There's that darkness again. And then freaking Harumi. We'll talk about you later. Just like We're not later, but my god. Like your father. I am nothing like my father. Yeah, and he doesn't want to be like his father. So even though he's going to maybe embrace that Oni um side of him, he doesn't want to turn out evil like his father. Because I mean Garmanon's evil. Like this man's straight up evil. Lloyd, from the looks of it, he might turn into a golden Oni. Which is also interesting why he, why, how it comes to be where the ninja get all their gold in attire. So, I'm interested to see that. Um, okay. So, Gar again, Garmin's power up, really nice. Um, Benchstone Dragons, interesting. Anger and then release it. Oh, God, yeah, that's the only way to release an o the only side of you. Um, I will say, though. It's interesting to see that both Oni power, like the power of destruction and creation, isn't affected by events. So, which makes sense, kinda, because destruction and creation aren't um, elemental powers or elemental essence. So it makes sense that it isn't blocked. And at the same time, it's also like a, a, it, a creation and destruction is just way more powerful than elemental powers to begin with. So it makes sense, but at the same time, I feel like Vegeta should have an effect, but. You know what? Fine. Destruction and creation cannot be touched by Lynch Stone. It's fine. So, from the looks of it there, Mr. E did not have a visor. So, everyone just take the visor off of Mr. E and put it on... I guess you could put on a regular samurai helmet. I feel like a regular samurai helmet would look way better on the Mr. E figure. So, without a visor. We are not ready for this. Ready for what, though? Oh, so this looks like to be the place where they were in Seabound at the start. So they already have their new suits there. Vangelis looking fine with the friggin' side of quakes. Oh baby, let's go. Oh damn! No, he's got a blaster. He's got a blaster. And then I see Racer 7 though, and Vinny's there too. Racer 7 and Vinny. Again, these gold suits, like the gold armor suits. So. And then we see all the golden weapons. Ooh. Why why would the villains throw the golden weapons? So. Um the bounty. Wu looks like oh, that looks like the dragon blade actually. Oh. And also Wu has wings as well, I saw or later. And then Esphira, Revenge. How does it feel? Skylar is using Earth here? Cool. Really like that. Lloyd's no running moment. away, obviously. Nia, I just got you back. And yes, Nia did just come back, and uh, looks like Nia's gonna be in mortal danger. Um, I'm really annoyed that people are saying that oh, Nia's gonna go back into the water, blah blah. Guys, this is literally the scene from when she came back. They're just showing this because it, it just shows that Nia came back in this process. It's, it's the line that Jason said, "I just got you back." It's just following that up. This scene is just following what he says. Like, you guys... Oh, uh, people are blowing this out of proportion. But this scene is literally no implication of what's coming next. This already happened. Like, hold your horses. This... Done. It happened. We're not going to see this again. Um, That looks cool. Zade, why you got to be... Why you got to... Why? Wu's got the wings. Really amazing. We get to see the action features again. Or not again, but for the first time. Up for the sets. Uh, oh. And guys, look, we finally get the in I finally get the interior of the bounty. It's all on fire. I could finally make my bounty 100% show accurate. Yes. 
Garmin. So much fun. With see Garmin on Nia. And Nia going to her death. Garmin and Nia and Lloyd. Freaking this guy looks so bad. Oh! We see people here. Why is Jay the only one that has his weapon? Oh no, he does move his mouth. Hold on. We get Rodin, Ultraviolet, Kilo. We got a whole bunch. Of oh, I saw Fiji Dome as well. Damn. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. Look forward to my uh, kind of review of the second half of the first half of Crystallize. That's a lot of words, but I'm really excited for this uh, second half of Crystallize. I can't wait to see what happens. And uh, it's just so exciting. Um. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys think of this trailer. But with that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Taco, out.